Welcome to the Army Alliance video series, the ABCs of APJ. I am Sue Nappy, the Executive Director of the Army Alliance. The Army Alliance is a nonprofit civic organization that advocates for the programs, people, and jobs of Aberdeen Proving Ground, also known by the acronym APJ. I hope over the course of these presentations to educate you about the missions of APJ, why that mission is important to our nation, as well as to Northeastern Maryland. I recommend you watch our previous videos, Intro to APG and RS for Research and Development. Both are available on the APG Army Alliance YouTube channel. This video focuses on one of APG's centers of excellence, testing and evaluation. APG is home to the headquarters responsible for the testing and evaluation of weapon systems for the entire Army. This headquarters, the Army Testing and Evaluation Command is also known by the acronym ATEC. ATEC headquarters relocated to APG from Alexandria, Virginia as part of the 2005 Base Realignment and Closure Action, also known by the acronym of BRAC. ATEC's mission is to make sure we send our nation's soldiers to war with weapon systems that work. ATEC's Nationwide workforce is made up of 9,000 military, civilian, and contract employees who are highly skilled test officers, engineers, scientists, technicians, researchers, and evaluators. They design and use highly accurate and precise instrumentation to test sophisticated military systems under controlled conditions with an annual budget exceeding a half a billion dollars. The chart on your screen shows ATEC's major test centers. In red are the elements at APJ. The headquarters is here, and the Aberdeen Test Center, and the Aberdeen Evaluation Center. I'll discuss the Aberdeen Test Center and the Army Evaluation Center in the next two charts. The Aberdeen Test Center, known by the acronym ATC, traces its roots to Sandy Hook, New Jersey, and the beginning of World War I. At the time, there was more time congestion in the New York Harbor and the Army needed a more remote area to test artillery. The commander of Sandy Hook was given the mission to find a site near the nation's industrial manufacturing centers, but far enough away from population centers so that year-round testing of munitions would not disturb the community or create a public hazard. Aberdeen, Maryland was selected as a new site and in January, 1918, testing began. Initially, this organization was known as the Proof Department. The organization tested artillery until 1923 when it added automotive testing. Several reorganizations and name changes later, in June 1995, the organization was designated as the U.S. Army Aberdeen Test Center. Today, ATC is the, is the Defense Department's lead agency for land combat, direct fire, and live fire vulnerability testing. ATC is a multi-purpose test center that with diverse capabilities it has become a world-class testing, training, modeling, simulation, and experimentation facility that gives American warfighters superior material and technology. This is the organizational element at APG that is responsible for the booms you hear in the community, fondly referred to as the sounds of freedom. The pictures of the chart from left to right, first is a picture of live fire testing, followed by a picture of automotive testing, and then a picture of equipment used in testing to record data. On the bottom of the chart is ATC's tagline. The soldier rides in it, wears it, shoots it, or deploys it, ATC tests it. Army Evaluation Center, known by the acronym AEC, provides unbiased evaluations of emerging weapon systems. So the Army contracts with defense contractors to develop and produce weapon systems. Eight tech test centers across the nation test and evaluate these newly developed weapon systems. AEC assists by conducting an unbiased evaluation of the resulting test data, ensuring our nation's warfighters are provided effective, suitable, and survivable equipment. AEC's evaluations are conducted on the full range of Army systems, from missiles to helicopters to electronics to artillery. Why is it beneficial to have the Army's testing and evaluation mission here in this community? Firstly, this mission results in a highly skilled and educated workforce living here. 
Many of the tests and evaluation workforce have advanced degrees. There are many STEM workforce opportunities. There are exciting technologies being tested right in our backyard. A great career STEM is right here at APG. STEM programs. The Army provides a number of STEM programs for our children. They recognize that they need to develop a future workforce and that interest in STEM careers needs to start early. The bottom right of this chart is a picture of a team competing during the ninth annual first Lego League qualifier. And that was hosted right here at APG at ATEC headquarters. Lastly, economic development opportunities. Surrounding APG are many defense contractor offices. Many of them are here because they support the test and evaluation mission at APG. Here's a full list of the episodes of the ABCs of APG. The videos will be hosted on the APG Army Alliance YouTube channel and links will be provided from the armyalliance.org website. And here's how you reach the Army Alliance and please feel, reach to, feel free to reach out to me. The Army Alliance would love to have you attend one of our events, hear how we are supporting APG. From our website, you can read about the Army Alliance and our accomplishments, find out about our events and read our latest annual report. Thanks for listening in, and I hope you feel like you know at least a little bit more about APJ.